Senegal's new president, Basiru Diomaye Faye, made an unprecedented decision to break with tradition and hold a low-key ceremony to mark the country's 64th independence anniversary on April 4, 2024. In doing so, he broke away from the usual elaborate Independence Day celebrations that are characterized by highly decorated military parades, a display of the country's military power, and a variety of performances to entertain guests. The decision to have a brief and low-budget ceremony that only lasted five minutes was a deliberate one aimed at saving the country millions of CFA francs that would have been used for a larger ceremony. In his address to the nation the previous night, President Diomé Fay had announced that he would not preside over a traditional ceremony, but would instead hold a brief ceremony. The ceremony began with the president dressed in white from neck to toe, inspecting a military guard of honor that had been mounted at the Palace of the Republic. He then greeted the military generals and state offices present, including Prime Minister Usman Sonko. What followed was the raising of the Senegalese flag and his presidential standard on the palace, with the president waiting for a moment for the national anthem to be performed by the military band present. The brief ceremony was a departure from the norm, both in Senegal and throughout the African continent, where Independence Day celebrations are marked by elaborate ceremonies that showcase the country's military might and cultural heritage. However, President Diomaye Faye's decision to break with tradition and hold a low-key ceremony was a clear indication of his commitment to prudence and austerity in the management of public resources. In light of the current circumstances, the usual grand parade has been replaced by a more sober and symbolic ceremony that will be chaired tomorrow at the Palace of the Republic. It is worth noting that this decision was made due to time constraints, as the new president of Senegal was recently handed the keys to the presidential palace, succeeding the former president, Macky Sall, just two days ago. As a result, the new president did not have enough time to prepare for a larger ceremony. However, it is not surprising to the majority of Senegalese people, who are aware of the immense responsibilities that come with the presidency. The new president is most likely working tirelessly to form an administration that will help him deliver on his promises and fulfill the expectations of the people of Senegal, 